Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel, thank you. Today we're going to be stripping down this M271 Mercedes engine from a Mercedes C180 compressor. The engine had flood damage so we're going to strip it down and see what we could find. This engine is a four cylinder made from cast iron. It's known to have timing chain issues. Please stick around as I strip this engine down completely. First, we're gonna be taking out these coil packs. Just lift, lift them up a little slightly with the screwdriver, pressing with both the tabs to release the wiring. Do this for all four. We're gonna go around the block and just re loot it, take away all the sensors, all the wiring, the metal clips around them to the bottom and the back of the block. Get all the wiring out the way so we could get full access to the top cover, the valve cover or the engine cover, whatever the technical term is. Got a dozen bolts all around just to loosen them. With a 10 mil female type, you're just gonna go around and take off that valve cover gasket. Valve cover gasket once it's off, it's, you can see all the water that's mixed in with the oil. This engine's come out of a flood damage vehicle. Just go, going over the chain, seeing if there's any slack. This engine's known for timing jump or loosened chain, taking the comes to top, top dead center rotating the crankshaft till I get it to top dead center. There's a groove there and the uh, arrows at the back here and on the crankshaft pulley. In the middle it's got a T so when it lines up with that you know your top dead center. Removing the top engine timing chain cover, top camshaft cover. First, gonna remove these camshaft magnets, three 8mm bolts for each side. And this 10mm female type all round. One underneath this thermostat housing, so you need to remove the thermostat housing. Removing this blue for the water pump, and you could access the water pump. Remove them three. 10 mil female type bolts. This check in is still top dead center. Also, you know when it's top dead center, there's that groove just opposite the arrow. Removing this side, just removing this camshaft cover with the casing. 10 mil bolts female through all around. Timing chain guide, just get a hammer and knock it forward if you find it a bit too tight. I'm sure Mercedes does have some sort of tool to keep all the comes in line. So the, you might want to put this on right about now. What I'm gonna be doing is just get my impact gun and removing this crank shaft pulley. On the crankshaft pulley, you'll see there's a groove. There's only one way it could go on, on the ridge of the groove. With the gun, it probably went out of timing, but as you see with my hand, I'm spinning it and putting it back in to top dead center. This is the groove, and that's the notch on the crank itself, so it can only go on one way. timing chain cover, one at the back to remove this pulley and two inside. I didn't have a, a, the tool to remove this bolt so I removed one side, I just squeezed in, got through with a 3 8 of a drive, female sort 10, but the other side, what the f why the hell did Mercedes put that bolt there? At this time I was thinking, I was liking 
this Mercedes engine till I come across that bolt. Obviously, Mercedes over engineer their engines. Like they're never going to be split apart. These engines are known for engine timing issues or the chain issues. So they do over engineer their engines. I didn't have the slide hammer to pull that chain, chain guide rail back. There's a, a couple of 10 mils at the bottom you need to take away that run along the block at the bottom to remove this bottom timing chain cover. I have to remove the tension now and removed it where I got a bit of space to remove that silly bolt. Remove the timing chain guide at the bottom, loosen the chain. remove the chain once the chain's been removed I have access to the camshafts so after I've removed the camshafts on a this take away this fuel rail just lift it up wiggle it then there's another another cover for Mercedes another cover before you could access the head bolt so just remove them bolts they got a seal on there which you might need a hammer to move around. Just checking these valve seats. The valve seats had water mixed with oil because this engine's been in a flood damage. Removed the uh, head bolts 14 mil female type again. With the pry bar, just lift on one side. Piston one and four, one seemed okay to me, but four, it did. It, it was still like about say half a centimeter below so i wasn't too happy with that cylinder um, two and four the pistons were fine piston four was like half a centimeter lower i don't think that's good for mercedes standards or any engine It's rotating the engine by the crank shaft with the bolt on. Just checking the pistons going up and down. I wasn't happy with piston number four, so I'll put a cross on it so I could check the rings and any scoring on the inside for later. Taking off the oil sump casing, the 10 mil female sort, all around, a few hidden ones, screwdriver, pry bar to lift it up, again oil and water mixed everywhere. Just removing this oil pump chain, checking the balance shafts. It was had a lot of water mixed with the oil. From 14 mils, remove this oil pump balance shaft. Big end bearings, 10 mil bolts, everything here look fine. I 
had to take off the rear, rear seal to access the last big end bearing. And then the piston bearings, the small end bearings, again 10 mil. All the shells everywhere, they look fine to me. We lift up the crankshaft after all the bearings are removed. Take a look at this crankshaft in better detail later. Rotate and get all of that water out. Drip tray at the bottom there. You can see it all coming from the top. Oops, piston fell into the bucket. With the pistons, Conrad, you just need to push it down with your hand and it'll come straight through. Clean off all of that mixture of oil and water. A lot of water you can see has gone in that engine, it was knocking. Same for all of them, you just push them down and they'll come out. That's the whole block being ripped, stripped down, teared down. Just a few little oil filters left on there. Just inside the piston seats, the lot, a lot of water mixed in there with oil. Looking at all the pistons, every single one looked fine except this one that I put an X on. We had a half a centimeter clearance not to the top and he had some scoring on the side and the shell had a little bit of scoring but nothing to worry on the shell but on the piston itself it had a lot of wear scoring. On the head all the valves were all fine. The valve seats looked okay. Nothing, nothing wrong there. And the crank, everything looked fine. It looked all good. Nothing to worry about. The sprockets were all good. No movement until I come across one area that I felt it had a bit of scoring. What do you think, Mercedes fanboys or any Mercedes specialists? Would you put that back in? And uh, oil pump, balance shaft. It was filled with oil and water, but the blades, everything seemed fine. No movement, no play, no scoring, just a lot of oil inside that oil pickup fact. It was filled with oil and water, but mechanically it all looked good. The camshafts all look fine as well. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you lot enjoyed that. Please, if you did, Please give me a like, subscribe and share if possible. Thank you.